Okay. Hello guys, and I'm back with another programming video with Roblox. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to your home page, which you usually pop into your home page when you sign into Roblox. And then you're going to want to go up here to your create button. I'm going to wait a few seconds for it to load, but if you have fast internet, it probably is going to load instantly. Then, you're going to be instantly in your My Create Games. And you're going to want to create a new game, but I already have a game made. And usually when you create a game, I'll go ahead and show you real quick. You click on the green button, and you want to create a base plate for what we're doing. Let me go back. Up here is the little back button on your uh, Google. Don't, don't use Yahoo or Bang. And... <laughs> Then what you want to do is edit your new world, and it's just going to be called your name like this. See how it's named? What I have it named? Let me find one that's named. What it'll be called for you guys? For you guys, it will be named your name. See how it's named me, Sethimus Prime 12. And now I'm going to edit my test world. So up here I'm on my test world. Over here is your edit button, and over here is like a little configure button. But we're going to go ahead and click edit. And then you get this little thing. Some people don't get it. I get it. Make sure you click your open button. We're going to wait a few seconds for Roblox to load. Now, I'm in my test world. Now, for those of you guys who know how to do that, you can skip that step. I'll show that every programming video so you guys know how to get into your editor and make a world. Next video, I'll probably show how to make a world just to make it easier on the new people. But next... I'm going to start off where I left off last programming video, which is making a door, and I'm actually going to remake the door. So, first thing is I'm going to bring in the old door, and for those of you guys who don't know about the inventory in Roblox, is that you can save an item, and that's where I'm at right now is my inventory. Usually you're in the, I forget what they call it, give me one second, toolbox, it's called the toolbox. And if this ever gets closed, go up here to the top bar of your studio, go over to view, and you get this panel with all these buttons, and click on toolbox to reopen that. And then, you'll have all these little buttons, and I'm here in my inventory. I usually think of it as a backpack, but, you know, Roblox, please don't change it from being named inventory ever. Now, I'm going to get my door from last time, and I'm going to show you guys how to make this thing. But first, I'll show you what it sort of does, and I'll also show you how to save stuff to your inventory. i got to check my video time. It's always a tight thing. This is a little spawn plate thing. You can get one from um, the little shop button here in the toolbox just by searching spawn. I have one saved from the old Roblox days when there was lots of free models, because... Sadly, I'm not officially a pro. I don't know how to, like, spawn a spawn from up here. You know, they don't have perfect instruction guides. But how you save something to your little inventory is you click on it, and you right-click over here, and you go down in this little menu that pops up to save to Roblox. Now, I'm not going to do it right now so that uh, we don't get a duplicate in my inventory. But now I'll show you how this door works in the game and how you test your game is you hit f6 on your keyboard recently it's been having an error so it might not work the first time and whatever you do don't press f5 remember always press f6 yeah sorry about those little drones this is my test place i'll probably have to anchor them and here in a few seconds this door will open why my little camera drone pushes on me yeah see so now this door opened and here in a few seconds it should close again. Basically what I got going on is in this little box I got a program telling this door to open and close. Here we'll wait a few seconds. See how it closed again and now I can't go back through. I'll show you guys how to make that again. In the last video I showed you how to um, make this. Actually I'll link it in the description of the video. And the description is just like the little about box beneath the video. See how it reopened? Sorry about these little robots chasing me around. I was looking at free models earlier. So now just to get out of this little pop-up that you've created by clicking F6, you just go up to the X and click X. Now remember that the place it brings you back to this little window 
is the actual thing you're editing. Don't don't exit that. And if you do exit that, remember to click save. But I'm going to stay here and show you guys what's going on. But first, I'm going to tell these things not to do anything. And I don't want to break them. So this is actually a great time for me to show you guys how to save stuff to your inventory. Because these things are going to keep zeeting around and following me. I'm going to go ahead and group these together, and how you group them is you set them right beside each other, you click someplace on your screen, you drag, and you see how this box is showing up. You'll get like a box around them, so two times box, right click on them, click group. Now they're a group, and you'll see over here in your workspace, or this explorer, either one, doesn't really matter, how we made this model, which is just a fancy word for a group. and down inside of it, both of our thingamajiggies are there. I'm going to right click on it, and I'm going to save to Roblox. So when you do that, it saves it to your inventory. And I'm going to name it something. Let's call this. Let's call it like five. I don't know how many of these I have. I name all my programming things that, which is probably a problem. And then... Ro Roblox requires a description, so I'll just say test. And then you don't want to allow copying because that means other people can download it and also bloats up the download store. Which is why you see like 10,000 pianos when you switch piano because someone spammed models. And then it does this because it's looking for bad stuff. And then... All you have to do is refresh your inventory. Sometimes Roblox does it for you, and there they are. And in your case, you probably were uploading something of your own. And then you'll see your thing there. But now I'll show you how to make this door. The first step to making the door is making a block, of course, because we have to have the brains of the machine, right? Because that's what makes everything happen. So I'm going to go over here in my workspace, just a little bit away from my spawn point. If not, move my spawn point, right? And make sure you get a spawn point from this little shop thingy in your game. Just by searching up spawn. And just any of these top ones will work. These ones here. Don't take stuff from like down here. And now I'm going to add a block. And how we add a block here is you're going to have to find it right here. So you go to model up here at the top. And you go over to part. You click part. And it will spawn a block. And it will always spawn a block of the color you have chosen. Because I learned that just yesterday. Sometimes I forget about that. And like I accidentally spawn like a rainbow colored block. So don't. Don't forget about that. And then. <laughs> go ahead and rescale it. And how you rescale is up here is your tools. So you have your click tool. You have your move tool. Which is the one I was using earlier. And the scale tool. And of course the rotate Recently, they updated the rotate tool, and now it's really weird, but it also is way better than it was. It just needs some more bettering. And now what we're going to do is we're going to name this block, right? Because we don't just want it to be named part. So we're going to go over here to our explorer. Of course, I can get rid of this thingy here. We're going to go ahead and rename it computer. The reason we're going to name it computer is so it's easier to find our block in what we're making. So now you have your computer block. And this is where you're going to put your script. I'm going to put my script in here ahead of time. So all you do to add a script or a program to your block is right click on it in your explorer slash workspace. You can see the names of those here and here. And all those are bigger, fancier groups. You'll get a menu like this. And you do insert object, script. Now inside your script, just clear it out. Make it empty and add a bunch of rows. And then leave it and just rename the script by right clicking on it. Rename it program. It's very important that we know what everything is. So now you have your computer block. Over here, as you can see in the previous model, we have a door frame and a door 
and the computer block. So now what we got to do is we have to make our door frame. So all we do again is add a part, set it right beside. I'm going to leave a gap this time. It's not going to look as pretty. Rescale, right? And if you guys have any problems scaling, up here you can see that there is move and rotate. You can change those. There's also a place, some place to change how big of a scale you can do. I forget where that is, sadly. As I said, I am not a perfect pro. I am a noob. Now all you do is duplicate the one side you made of your door, right? But the first thing I'm going to make sure is that this door is big enough for a person to go through. So I'm going to go over here and look at this door. Then I'm going to go over here and look at this one side of the door. Let's scale it up a little bit. And then duplicate it. And how you duplicate is you can right click here and duplicate. Or you can click here and right click here. I prefer to duplicate out in the space. And this is like your workspace. And then you just move your copy. Make it a good feeling size. And then we can duplicate one more time. And then we resize this duplicate for the top of the door. So now you have a door frame. Right. So we're pretty much just remaking this. And then I'll explain to you guys how to make the program inside this computer block that commands the door to do what it does. But first, we have to make a door. Because right now, if we go into the game, and don't forget to anchor, because last time, the first time I made the door, I forgot to anchor. And everything falls down. And I'll show you actually what that looks like. Because when things aren't anchored in Roblox, it just basically means that they're able to move around. They aren't stuck. It, it means physics acts on them, or Roblox physics acts on them. So watch, I can push this and make it collapse. You don't want your door to do that, right? You want them to be outside of physics. Apparently. So, collect not collect, click on all your door pieces. Wow, that was a pretty tough sentence. And then go up here to your bar and click anchor. If you aren't on this menu, make sure to go to model. So if you're on home, go to model, click anchor, and make sure everything is blue like this. And then click F6 and check again if it's anchored. Because if it's not anchored, your door is not going to work. It's, I mean, the program is still going to do what it's told to do, but it's not going to work. See, and now it's anchored. Nothing falls. Everything's perfect. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add our door. So how we do this is the same way we did last time. We just click and we duplicate. And we can rescale, we can move. I'm going to move it, right? Oof. Move it and rescale it. And then go ahead and fill like this. Make sure nothing's really sticking out the sides. And now you have a door. And now we need to name everything and group everything. And you'll see what I mean by this. You hold shift, you click, click, click. Make sure you have the frame selected. We want to color everything so we know what it is. I'm going to color the frame yellow. I'm going to color the door blue. And I'm going to color the computer green. Know that I know the colors seem really bright and annoying. But it will all make sense in. So I've clicked on my door. And I'm going to rename it over here in the Explorer door. And I'm going to group all these parts. And how I'm doing that is I'm holding shift and I'm clicking on them going to group them all together and just rename them frame or you can rename a door frame might have accidentally spelled that farm either way works and then we have computer door and frame and what we do is we actually select all of this by just clicking off some place and getting it all blue like that right click it group it and we're going to just call it door machine. Like that. And you can call your machine anything you want. But you need to make sure everything has names. Because the computer has to call on every individual piece. 
So the computer block has to know where it is, the computer block has to know where the door frame is, and the computer block has to know where the door itself is. So just remember that if you name everything hoogly boogly, the computer block's not going to know where it is, the computer block's not going to know where the door frame is, it's just not going to know where anything is. So now we're going to go inside of our door machine and we're going to set everything up. So now we have our door, we now we have our computer, and we now have our door frame. The door frame doesn't necessarily matter, so I'm going to right click on that group and group it again and just rename it. Um, geez, wow. Mind blank. Parts. Right, parts. Then I'm going to group computer. And rename it computer. And then I'm going to group door into door. The reason I'm doing this is for organization. And then I'm going to rename parts unneeded because of that mind blank. And now I'm going to make sure everything is perfect. Because you should always double check all your work and make sure everything's how you want it to be before you make everything run. Because it's better to check 12 times and fail 0 times than fail 300 times. And not have anything work. <laughs> that's that's the best way to describe it. So I'm just going to keep checking here and making sure everything's how I want it to be. Go to frame. And it looks like it's how I want it to be. But I'm going to rename door in my setup to parts because that's how I'm used to doing it. Even though door is a very clear way of telling you that that's the door that we're changing. So now, what's going to happen is this computer is going to find door and parts and make it open. The computer isn't even going to talk to our door frame. And unneeded is door frame, so nothing happens. Okay. So now I can show you guys that. So we're going to go to our computer, we're going to open up computer, and in there is program. And I'm actually going to move my program out someplace where Roblox won't get mad at me. That way I can see it and see what's going on at the same time. Like this. So now we can see our door, we can see our old door. I'm going to go into my old door machine, and I'm going to get my script and tell you how everything works. Okay. Ooh, I didn't expect Roblox to do that. So now, what we have to do is we have to tell Roblox where the door is. And I know that seems really silly. I know the first time I heard that, that seemed really silly. Because Roblox sort of already knows where the door is. And I'll show you real quickly what's going on here. And I'll explain everything, and then I'll explain what we're going to do with this code here in a second. Because we're going to make more than just doors. So now when we spawn, we have our door. Sort of an unchanging object, something you can bump into. But now what we're going to do is we're going to tell this computer where the door is. Because Roblox knows where everything is in Roblox. I know it's scary, huh? But now we go up to the top of our script, and we push this old script down, or code, you can call it whatever, 
It all means the same thing. They just like to fancy it up just like the mathematicians do. And we will begin by finding the door. So let's go up to our door machine. Let's make sure we have the right one because I have two of them here. And we go to parts. See, so here's parts and here's door. And over here in our code, for you guys, your code will probably take up your whole screen. But you want to do, pretty sure, we will go door, right? You type in door equals script. And usually Roblox autofills for you. If Roblox doesn't autofill for you, type in the whole word script. And then you want to do dot parent, but you don't have to do dot parent sometimes. Sometimes you can just get the actual parent. And basically what this is doing is this is going up a level. So from computer, it's going up to computer. And then it's going to go up to computer again. See, it already is seeing stuff. Dot parent. That parent, so now we're up three parents, so before, one parent went up to computer, and then it could see anything under it. So then you went up one more parent, and you're up here, and you can see anything under it. And now we're up in door machine. So it's all about getting what's above the program. And now we should be able to go dot parts, see? And now we've created what they would call a path. Or a road, so we're making a road from program to computer to computer to door machine, and now that program can see what's in door machine, so the program can see what is in door machine now, and it sees parts, and we've linked it to parts, and now we're going to tell it to get door, and now it has made a path there, and what door equals means is that this key word is this. So now we're going to go down to this and make sure our code is all set. And I'll explain what all this code is here in a second. And I'm just making sure that my code is perfect and that everything is going to work. You always want to do that. Otherwise, it won't work. It's better that something works the first time than the twelfth time. And now that I know that my code is most likely perfect, I will explain what's going on down here. This is a while true do. The best way to explain it is that while while's true, it goes in a circle. So it's just a loop. I don't know who invented while true, but it's not very well described what it's what it does. But that's all. So if you type this in, right? So if I go down beneath this and I type in while true do, it automatically, I misspelled true, will create this thing. Let me correct the spelling of true. Do It will automatically create this thing, and anything you put in between this point A and point B will repeat over and over again. And I'll show you that here. If we go up here, what I have in between this while true do and this end, which just means to end or repeat, our while true is I have block one and what's in block one is wait 14 so it means wait 14 in game seconds before starting our program and then it says door and what this door means I didn't want to break the program now door it means jump up to the top and get door follow this path get this door and then it does this program. And this is a Roblox command, so far as I know. I don't know how Roblox works, because Roblox doesn't have like a list of commands. Equals 1. And what 1 is in Roblox is to make it open, or invisible, a ghost. Then what we have to do is we have to tell door, right, door, which is something that exists, this block here, which we've made a road to up here. And we've defined it. It's sort of backwards. You should be able to define it by putting door over here. But, you know, computers are weird. And then you say false, which 
In Roblox, that means you can walk through it, and I'll show you what that is here in a second. And then in block two, we just do it backwards. Wait 14, and then make door visible again, meaning seeable, and then make door can collide again, which means you can't go through it. And now I'll show you what our program does. Now watch. And if it doesn't work the first time, I don't know how to fix it. But here in a few seconds, the door should open, and we should be able to walk through it. There we go. See? Remember, it's always best to double-check your program 12 times and have it work once, than to fail 50 times and have it work none. Now, what's basically going on is this cube here is finding this door and then telling the door to become invisible and telling the doors the door itself because the door is one block right it's a single block like this spawn plate or this computer block to be non-collidable is how roblox defines it so that we can walk through it i'll tell you more in one second when it does it See how we can walk through it now. But here in a few seconds, when it re-becomes blue, we will not be able to walk through the door. And then, once I'm done explaining this, we're going to use the same code to make a few more cool things. See, now I can't walk through it again. And that is what our program does right here. So essentially, we find our door. Well, first you define it. This thing here, this door right here, doesn't technically mean anything. It's just the definition of the door. It's sort of backwards. Whoever designed how this works did it all backwards. But we'll just let that for them <laughs> for the rest of eternity sink in. And then right here you have script, which basically, I don't even know what script actually means, but you have to do it. And then you have your parents parent and that's this over here so i'll repeat myself because i was sort of rambling the door is the definition or a keyword so your program can call your actual thing over here script doesn't really mean anything but roblox requires it parent is what's above it let me go over here and find it so over here in computer you have your program, and when you do parent, you're getting the one thing above it. So we're right here, parent, let me go to the next parent, then we're here, and then you go on and on until you get to the highest point. So then the next parent is up here, and then you're at parts, which is down here, and then you're at door. So then when this program fires down here, transparency equals one door so door transparency equal one it knows let's go get door and set its transparency to one so now we'll do the next step now that you know how to make a door invisible and also something i'll cover before the next step is remember that this while true do runs forever so this door will open and close forever as long as your server in roblox is running so let me go in and show you that's my original door I made last video and I just was making it up like literally 90% of the things I program I am either using other people's models I fuse together or I'm just making it up as I go so this yeah and you'll see that this will run forever right And these are synchronized because their programs are the same. Synchronized means it's doing it at the same time. And I'll let you guys see how it runs five or six times. If you write a program not in a function or in a while loop, and I'm pretty sure those are the same thing. They're both functions that do different things. I don't know. I'm, I'm not an IT guy. Okay? I just read people's programs and then use them.
to make things and then explain them. But basically, if you put your program in a while loop, it will run forever. Okay? So, basically, that's the gist of that. On to the next cool thing. We're going to take our machine, or actually, we aren't going to take our machine, we're going to build another machine. This is going to be a long video, because we're going to build a lot of machines. So, now, we're going to add another cube, right? So, we're going to go over here, I'm going to close this program out. I hope that doesn't cause an error. And, we're going to go ahead and add a cube someplace over here. I don't know why this is sparkling, but we're going to go ahead and add a cube. Make sure you change its color. Otherwise, it will be added as green. And we're going to call this computer as well. And we're going to make it like a bridge, right? So here's our computer. Let's move our spawn plate up someplace high. We can go ahead and add another block. I'm just resizing it. You guys know how to do that by now, hopefully. It's pretty easy to learn how to use these buttons. It's harder to learn how to use these buttons and stuff, to be honest. Took me like seven years to figure that out, even though it's a pretty easy layout. Okay. So now, we are going to copy this block or duplicate it. So right click. Duplicate, and then just use the move button. And now, you got two of them. And remember, that when you spawn a block in Roblox, for some reason, or not like in the Roblox game, but in Roblox Studio, it starts unanchored. So, you want to hold shift and select all your blocks, and anchor them. So now when we duplicate them, they aren't going to, like, fall. Next, we're going to add our bridge, right? And it's going to be a pretty tiny bridge, so I'm going to fix this so it's not going to be a tiny bridge. It's going to be a much more... Oh. Don't shift select like what I just did, because um, Roblox added that feature fairly recently where it, like, triple scales. And um, I don't know how to disable it, to be honest. So, now, what we're going to go ahead and do here is we're going to add our bridge. And it's just going to be like a long line. And we can tell it how to be invisible. But I'm just going to have the program tell it how to be di disabled so that you guys don't have to go through a bunch of extra steps. So go ahead and color it up here in model color. Like maybe a green. Makes it easier to see. And we're going to recolor the computer like a blue. So now we have a blue computer. We have a spawn point. Two white points and a bridge forget what the other model was that I was going to make, but we can handle that later. So essentially, we're going to make the same thing we just made, but into a bridge. Which is pretty interesting that the same code does the same stuff over and over again. So, now, all we do is we do what we just did. We rename our computer to computer. But now we're going to name each of these pieces point A and point B, and then point B, and then you're going to want to rename your bridge something, and sadly I don't actually know how to spell bridge, so I'm just going to rename it road. And you always want to spell stuff in all lower cases that you're going to have a program call on, because Roblox doesn't like numbers, certain, like, symbols, and spaces. So always make stuff all lowercase. So it's going to be called Road. We're going to name the bridge Road. And if you can spell bridge, go ahead and name it Bridge. So now we have our bridge 
but it's a road. And now we're going to group everything. So now you just select everything holding shift and right click and group it. And we'll just rename this road machine because I can't spell bridge. Bam. Road. Add the word machine to the end. Bam. Road machine. And now all this does is open and close here in a second when I program it and show you guys how to do it. And I'll go ahead and spawn in and show you what's going to go on. But I, I predict you guys are already predicting what will go on. But this video is pretty long, so I'm sure not a lot of people made it to this point. Now you'll be able to see this will disappear and people won't be able to always make it to the other side. And you can make it appear and disappear as much as you want, even if it crashes the server, but I don't suggest that. So, now we can go ahead and do that. So we're going to go in to our road machine, go to road, and we're going to group that, like just like what we did with the computer. Uh, not the computer, the door. I'm thinking while doing. And we're going to name this parts. And we're going to group point A and point B into unneeded. And as you can see, it sort of follows the same pattern as the door machine. And then we're going to group computer into computer. And this will just make it way easier to make everything work. And now we're going to go ahead and add that script in. Insert object, script, rename it program. And clear out that print hello world. And we can already just start by defining what we're going to do. We say road equal script dot parent dot parent last time it was three parents might not be still three parents oh nope it is and we go down to parts dot road there we go as you can see i've just set up the path to get to road and what i just did to show you guys is i went from program to computer to computer to road machine down to parts in the path to road and that's what this path is going to i always do these little dashes what these dashes do is programs always read from top to bottom unless there's a loop inside them in that case they jump around a little so when i put in these dashes as the program reads line by line down it knows to ignore these dashes and it helps you separate your program like this lets you get a little artistic with it Next thing we're going to do is we're going to set up those blocks from last time, and I'm just going to borrow my program so I don't have to rewrite it. You really need to, to put like a little program book in, part, door, it's down here someplace, here it is. Now I'm going to go down and get my while true do loop. I don't know if Roblox has all the programs in to autofill, otherwise I would handwrite them all in. And now all I do is replace door with road. And the computer will automatically know what to do. And you can copy your program from your door. And you can see, and the reason I have these little block thingies here is to help separate steps of the program. And I'll explain this program once again, because it's just the same program. Again, this time I'm going to change it a little bit after I test it. Unless I'm going to double check it. So there's going to be no waiting. In the beginning. And the reason we're going to have no waiting in the beginning. Is so that when people spawn in. That the road or our bridge is totally invisible. But then it will wait 14 and I'm going to copy and move this weight into its own block right here in this little subspace in the middle. 
It probably really should go in its own block, but I'm not going to do that for now. And then the road will re become visible. But then, if we copy and put another one down here, it's again like a little sub block before the end and restarting of our loop. Remember, if it's while true, it will go in a circle. And then it will restart by making itself invisible. Remember, the program always goes from top to bottom. So now, I know for like a 95% fact that this program is going to work. So we should go in, and it should work. So there's a 5% chance it's not going to work, but it's working. So now you can see how the program made it so I'll fall through. I can't fly, so I'm not going to be able to get back up there. But you'll see here in a second how it's going to reappear. And now we've made a road that can appear and disappear. Now, I don't know how to, quite yet in Roblox, to make blocks move around, rotate. But I am going to figure it out. And then I'll show you guys. But right now, what you got is a door, this bridge... I was going to do something else, but for the life of me, I can't remember what it was. So, that's all for this video. In the next video, I definitely am going to show you guys. Oh, that's actually what I was going to do. So, actually, that isn't all for this video. I was going to make a platform you could stand on or something. So, we're going to try and do that. I know that was sort of weird. But, I am thinking as I'm doing. So, let's see if we can make this platform. Hmm... I know, it's weird. So we have our door and we have this. So how are we going to make a platform? We got to think about it and then we got to do it. So I'm going to try and do it. I might not be able to do it. I'm only going to give myself, myself, myself five minutes to try and make a platform that can move up and down. And then I'm going to probably end the video. The problem is, is it's not actually going to move up and down. It's just going to appear because what this program does is it makes this thing appear and disappear and not collide. So, what we're essentially going to do is we're going to make an animation. We aren't actually going to make it move, because there is a program in Roblox that allows you to make blocks move through Roblox space, but I'm not going to do that, because I forget how to write that program. So, we've added our computer. Let me close all these other programs. And... Now what we're going to do is we're going to add our path. So this is actually going to be pretty complicated, to be honest. And we're going to add another part. And we're going to create like an area for our platform to be. Uh, sorry, my brain just flatlined for a few seconds. And the area, <laughs> the area is going to be here. And basically this area just shows us where our elevator is going to be. And it's not really an elevator, it's just a pad that goes up and down. And then we're going to anchor everything like what we did before. Right, there we go. And how I did all of that, because I did it super fast, because I'm thinking super fast, is I went up to model, and I added a part, and I rescaled, and I anchored. Those are the three steps I used to make all of this. Just consider this a bonus, because... I forgot the other thing I was going to make. So now what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate these pieces and build our machine. So I'm going to duplicate this, and I'm going to move my duplicate out with the move tool, and rescale it. I wish there was an even scale function. I think there is. I just haven't built in studio in so long. So if we move this down, sort of center it, and color it blue. Oh wow, there's so many colors to pick from. <laughs> and then duplicate it. We're going to have a lot of these in series, which just basically means in a line. I don't know why there's so many words for words. So we're going to put these in a line or in a series. Potato, potato. And basically what this is, is this is an animation. So you'll start on the bottom plate, plate one. And Roblox will know to make 
each one visible, invisible, 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 all the way up. And we're going to add a reference point. Oop, I think I made an error someplace, but I'll go back in and fix the errors. This is very poorly designed because there's a way better way to do this. I just don't know how to do it. So we're just settling for this. But it can be very quickly done with our uh, knowledge of how to set this up. So now once you have all these plates, and all I did was select a, a group of these and duplicate them. You can add them one by one if you want. You can see we have our area, our computer, and our plates. And each of these will get a number, sadly. And then our final destination can be a duplicate of our bottom plate, right? Scooch it in, lift it up there. Essentially, you're going from the ground floor to the top floor. Okay. So I am thinking about how I'm going to make it all work. And now we start programming after we name everything. So the first thing you want to do is you want to name your computer like always and color it. And this time I'm going to color the computer purple. I am going to leave these two plates the color that they are and I'm going to leave these blue. I'm going to name each of these plates a floor level. So this is going to be floor 2 and this is going to be floor 1. Then what we're going to do real quick is I'm going to add a reference block so we know which floor we're on, just for fun, I guess. And they'll be in the unneeded. Because, you know, for making something like this, just might as well make it beautiful. There we go. And these don't need to be named because they aren't going to uh, be involved in anything. So now each of these is going to be have to having a name. That was definitely a poor sentence. Roblox doesn't really like numbers, but I'm going to give it numbers. So this is one, plate one, all the way at the bottom. This is going to be named two. This should be named uh, three. And we might have to rename these. This is uh, named 4, and so on. I wish they had a program that would let you, like, select a bunch of stuff and then name it all. Because this is a problem, like, in a ton of programs that you can't, like, shift select down rows. Because if I can select all this, why can't I name all of it? It's definitely a problem. Make sure that that's 7. Yeah, but it doesn't exist for some reason. As you can see, we have to keep going all the way up the chain until we get to the top. Just slow and steady. Uh, this is 10. 11. We're almost there. Just don't lose count. Okay, just double checking where I am, and then I'm going to continue nearly to the top, and then I'll show you guys how to program this.
Okay. We are there. Believe at some point I lost count, so that might suck, but we should have them all. Then what you want to do is you want to select all your pieces and group them. And we are going to call these parts, just like with the door parts. Then we'll group everything that's not important. Ooh, wow, it's not anchored. That's weird. I'll handle that here. Anchor. Make sure you anchor these pieces. For some reason, mine aren't anchored. But I just went back in and re-anchored them. Group them. Rename them. Unneeded. And then group it with your other pieces. And call it just Vader. Like Dark Vader. And then get your computer in there. And then rename a computer. Ooh, where did it end up at? Man, no, put in Vader. There we go. So make sure your computer ends up in Vader, and then name a computer. And then rename the model as always computer as well. And then we gotta double check everything, make sure everything's perfect. It might not be perfect, because for some reason Roblox put our numbers all out of order. I don't know what its programming was behind that. But, you know, we'll figure it out as we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my program to my purple computer here. I'm going to name it program. I'm going to clean up my program. And I'm going to define my path, right? One of the most important steps, before I define my path, I'm going to pretty up my space with my dashes. I'm going to go ahead and get started on that, and we're just going to... You can't really call on everything at once, so you have to define every step of the process. So I'm actually going to go back and make all my parts invisible, and I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So... You want to go to View, and you want to go to Properties, and click on that, and that will make this show up. And you can just drag it and place it. Or you want, if it shows up in the middle of everything, you just move it, and you drop it in. There. So now, I'm going to go in and tell all these numbers to be Transparency 1, which makes them invisible. And then you go into your programming, and you want to find the path of 1. And Roblox doesn't like that always, but it's too bad. We'll see how it handles it. If it doesn't handle it, we'll have to go in and rename script. I might be able to put a dash behind that. Yeah, it's not like in the one. So you have to go in and rename in parts. Each one of these you want to do to part one. And that's the importance of double checking. Then you have to name it part one equals script up parent up parent up parent. And we're at program computer computer dot vader. Sadly, it's not working. I'm only going to give it another minute. If it doesn't work, I'm probably going to end the video. I don't know why it's not finding the path. Maybe there's a longer path and I messed up, or maybe there's a shorter path and I messed up. Yeah, there was a longer path for some reason. That doesn't make no sense. It's only, it's only two steps up there. Why is there a longer path? Program computer. Who's the extra parent? In theory, there should be less parents. Uh, wait a second. Can I do Vader here? No? <laughs> Weird. I don't know why that happened, but, you know, Roblox is Roblox. Dot. Parts. Now? Now, I set up the path. I can't describe the path to you because it's doing something weird. 
and we find our first part, which I renamed part 1 to make it easy. And now what we're going to do is we're going to make part 1 visible. So, we're going to go down here. I should just be able to say, well, true, do, and set up that loop, which will make the elevator run no matter what. Ooh. And make, maybe like this, found part one, dot, there's Rob oh, Roblox is going to do autofill. I don't know if it's an equal or dot, uh, zero. And then we want to have a wait. Wait one. We can wait uh, like five before resetting to invisible. Then it's gonna make it invisible again. Cause one, one I'm pretty sure is invisible. Zero is visible. But I'm gonna double check it. Cause programming with the one and zero is a little confusing. I feel like it should be a true or false. But that's the same thing as 1 and 0. Up oh, there it is. So it's visible. So 0 made it visible. And 1's going to make it invisible here in a second. Basically what you'll do. Is you'll stand on this. And it will appear and disappear. And appear and disappear. All the way up. That. I'm surprised it hasn't disappeared yet. It's 5 seconds in Roblox. Are they that long? Roblox, make it invisible. Roblox, do it. Do it, Roblox. Hmm. Is there a bug? Is there a glitch? Was I wrong? I don't think so. Yeah, because no matter what, it's going to change state. Oh, there's no wait. So it just, like, instantly changes. Wait a second. There we go. So I fixed it. Before it was staying um, visible too long. Now it should stay invisible for a little bit. And then re-become visible, and then re-become invisible, see? And, um, the can collide, I left it on so you can see I can feel the blocks. But this is where I'm going to wrap up the video, because this video is really, really long. And I feel like most people probably won't sit through this long of a video. So, goodbye. Have a good time.